Well, it's been nice and not having rain this Perfect. Saturday. What else can we expect? Well, we can expect a warm up. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> we need that. We need to feel like spring in East Texas. I think a lot of folks are ready for it, and uh, that's coming later in the week. Right now, though, we've still got some cloud cover across Texas, as you can see, but that cloud cover is beginning to thin out just a little bit, and that trend is going to continue overnight. Uh, we are going to also see a chance for some frost overnight as things clear out. Winds will be getting lighter as high pressure continues to settle into the area, and that's why we'll have scattered frost in the morning, uh, probably mostly in deep east Texas. The clouds still hanging on a little bit more in the northern counties, and the winds still a little bit stronger there than they are in the southern counties. But by Monday morning, should have a pretty widespread frost across all of our east Texas area. Here's what future cast shows as the high continues to settle into Texas. This is Sunday at lunchtime, nice in Texas. I don't know if you're interested in the uh, race, Daytona, but uh, might have a few problems with the weather there as it looks like the rain is settling in for Florida, so might have trouble getting that race in tomorrow. Meanwhile, high pressure continues to keep us nice, and by Monday, things even looking better in Florida as the rain moves off. So if they don't get it in tomorrow, it looks like they might get that race in on Monday. Meanwhile, going through the afternoon, we will continue to see sunny skies on Tuesday, and Tuesday at lunchtime, it's going to be uh, pretty nice and uh, starting to warm up at that point. A few clouds come back in for Wednesday. They'll be scattered around the area, but our temperatures are going to be climbing nicely to near 80 degrees in some parts of East Texas there by Wednesday. Our temperatures right now across East Texas falling into the 30s. Uh, Tyler still showing 41. Hemp Hill also, but uh, most of the rest of the area in the 30s and we'll continue to go on down to around the freezing mark there in the morning and that of course will help that frost along along with the other conditions that will make it a little more ripe in a deep east Texas. Sunday afternoon forecast highs in the 50s. We didn't make 50 this afternoon in east Texas, so we'll be a little warmer than that on Sunday. Forecast lows for Monday morning here. Another frost expected. We'll have light winds, clear skies area wide, so that's why the frost should be a little more widespread. And forecast high temperatures for Monday afternoon. We'll be getting on up into the 60s, and we'll begin to see an increasing southwest wind. And that's going to help drive those temperatures higher over the next seven days. We will see. I want to go back to that uh, graphic there so you can see what the trend is going to be. Uh, there we go. Now we got the line moving. It is going to be trending upward uh, there through the middle part of the week as those temperatures push to near 80 degrees at that point. Tonight, low temperature 30 degrees, partly cloudy skies, north winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Sunday's forecast says we'll have a sunshiny day, 53 degrees in the afternoon, and a lighter northwest wind. Here's your next seven days with that warm up at midweek. Winds will be picking up again out of the southwest this time. Gusts as high as 25 to 30 miles per hour there in the middle part of the week. And for deep east Texas, you're going to be warming up as well as we move to the middle of the week. And by the weekend, we'll begin to cool down just a little bit more. But no rain in the forecast for the week. Check that forecast anytime at our website, fox51.com.